morning everybody and good morning ladies so I've done a good job of this panic First row's on. Dad was here to help me do the first row this morning. Morning, Dad. Morning. morning. How are you this morning? Oh, working hard as ever. <laughs> yep, I should like it. He's an anti cow, isn't he? <laughs> nice and full, that's good. These girls are filling up again. Swamp definitely affects them. Finally hang that back up. So be Murphy's law now we get a power cut when we need it. <laughs> awesome. All set, all done. Just waiting on dad to finish the yard here and then I'll go down and feed. Gotta load up with some silage. So dad's just on his way down now. He's gonna go and check to see how um the maze is looking and see if we can actually get in there on that uh, wet soil. See how we go. But otherwise let's go. Yeah, and he's opening up the bales for us. Get that two there, and then we'll grab one more after we've fed out some cows. Like time and days I haven't got the netting stuck. <laughs> what lucky. Okay. Let's go feed out. Disconnected. It's a little bit wet on the uh, on the lower side, so we'll give it a crack. See how it goes. Just put it in full drive, diff lock. Give her every chance you can to get through. What's the only thing can happen? We can only get stuck, and then we just go grab the digger. Pull us out. What can happen? <laughs> Let's get a little bit of damage through here. <laughs> Quite a bit of damage. 
flat. Uh, let's see how much of it we can pick up. You can only try. It's not too soft in here. We're not leaving going too low. It's more the trailer that'll be the worry. Flat area. A little bit soft down here. Ooh. Fish you back there. What's up? Grab two rows of one. Shipping. No, not shipping. Needs a sharpen. No, not too. Nah, yeah, grabbing it. Dad's doing a great job of it too. Just uh, at the moment, two rows. That's what he's grabbing. So we've got a bit of a blockage. See back there. Twice. Dad just had a bit of a blockage. We've undone the blockage. Let's get back to it. She's still sinking. But the more we maze we chop, the further over we go. Pretty flat, but he's still picking it up. Some of it's actually trying to stand back up. Come on, you little me, stand up. Probably not that area. Just going nice and slow. Get about half the speed of what we we're doing last time. Oh, yep. missed it. Or oh, it clumps up. What it does is it clumps up and it falls across the front of the maze chopper and then doesn't allow it to uh, go in. Then when it does, it goes in at a great rate of knots, a point that'll break a share pin. Really got a good load yet. Yeah. Yeah, the girls are all waiting. They're looking hungry. Right, let's get to feeding out. Girls are happy as. See, they're not really standing all over the middle of it. Apart from the bit really Mate's coming back here. So, beauty. That's latched on, good little idea. Last little pile. These girls will finish that. These are generally the first cows in this area are your bossy girls. So they'll come over here and eat this before they go and eat the other piles where the other bossy girls aren't. <laughs> Right, let's get a move on. Reload number two. Get you ready for tomorrow. I'm trying to keep her out of that weird spot. So that's why I'm not recording much, sorry. But we are picking it up. It's going really well. Dad's got his line set and he knows what he's doing. When he went through here, even Dad is starting to get stuck down in there. So this area here is pretty damn wet. I have to take off a great rate of knots. Jeepers. This is summer for you. Trailer's starting to belly. Ooh. Blocked up there. Just a moment. For now. For now. It's just a 
little bit of a wet spot through that area there. Yeah, yeah. And even I went down, but I'm still good. I got through. So did Dad, but uh, just want to cut the spout. Trying to chop the maize through. Damn the mud and the maize. All clean. Now he's going to get that maze out. The front. That's cleaned around there. And we can go back to chopping. Pretty muddy sure he is. Good ruts. Good ruts. About as deep as me red bands. That's it, just gonna run some maize over to get him. Nice and deep. <laughs> Sorry, bending out those bits there because about when I put it down it must have caught and bent the um, end bits so it wasn't shooting quite right so it's bending them out this better told me to back up me cover me amaze the bugger <laughs> oh as you see here is actually getting rid of a lot of um bits that have come across the front so it goes further out backs up and they drop off just like that that helps them to uh, keep going better we're on our last run now we need another blockage on the last run see if we get covered in maize literally only need one more around and that's us well not even around just this bit Dad's got planned, but we'll go see what's happening. We've got our, we're going to start feeding out a load of maize in the morning and a load of maize at night so that we can get through that paddock and just poof, blast that paddock out of the way before it decides to die out. It dies out too much, we won't be able to pick it up at all, and we'll have to put the dry cows and the bulls in there. The dry cows or the bulls will be alright anyway because those cows that are empty, we know who they are, and they can go with those bulls until they clean up that. Um, that maze, that maze paddock. So, until then though, load of maze morning, load of maze night, two bales of silage in the morning, and I'm not entirely sure what Dad's got planned. There might be another bale on this load. <laughs> That's always fun. So, there he goes. Loading up the silage. That didn't quite happen as planned, but bale of silage on top of the maize. Good load of maize and a nice bale of silage. morning, the, uh, it's us for today, for this morning. Um, we had about, oh, it would be four, five, maybe six blockages. It took us at least 15 minutes each time to clean that out. And, oh, bloody thing, maize chopper. Well, that's us, we'll see you all at Mulky today. Main problem Dad was having was when he was trying to pick up one row, two rows were down over it, and the maze chopper would just go underneath, and one row would just come straight across the top of it and block the um, mouth of the chopper so it couldn't go in. And then it would stop going and stop flying and just push the other rows out of the way. So Dad put that out of the way, and then when he went to start again, um, the maze hit the dirt again, and yeah, oh, it's one of those mornings. Got the maze chopper going though. Beauty, she's working well, and uh, you see how we go with that tomorrow. Same thing, load of maize in the morning with a, maybe one or two bales of silage. It's up to dad, see how what he decides in the morning. It really depends on how much the cows got in the paddock. And then we got a big load of maize tonight with a bale of silage. Those girls are going to be really happy, okay? Because we finished the swamp bales, there's only one swamp bale sitting over there now. That's the second to last swamp bale up on the maize there, okay. See you all at Mulking tonight. Go 
Mate, that's another success for Milking. Um, we're going to leave Dad to it. He said he can take care of it. He's going to go feed out. Got stuff to do tonight, eh, Dad? Yep. Sweet as. He'll be all right. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.